Uh, I think this whole leadership journey uh, has taught me one thing, that we are all leaders and all of us need to work together for a common purpose. And to achieve that common purpose, working together, you get there faster with less uh, hassles and less headaches than if you try to do it without one another. The leadership journey has, in a sense, accentuated the, the fact that you're more cognizant of the uh, staff expectations. You'll be able to uh, spend more time with them to discuss the issues, to be able to communicate uh, with them in a very clear fashion, and uh, in a sense also to develop their skills and encourage them. It's in my small section where I deal with 62 region staff and sometimes as many as uh, 70 contractors from the outside. The communications and the, uh, the morale has improved already just by the skills of my, my four persons. I'm noticing that my direct reports um, are also um, uh, understanding and appreciating the value of direct communication and one-on-one -on -one, uh, communication, especially when there's a, a difficult situation at hand. And I'm also finding that they're now employing the same tactics with their own staff. I realize now how important it is that you not just listen, but that you hear what somebody else is saying, and that, I va that you validate what they have said and work together as a team. So I think that my team approach, you know, and the team work in my group really improved. It actually helped me become less of a manager and more of a coach. It really did. So was, there were some really good coaching uh, type sessions and um, education in the leadership journey. That as manager, you can't be everywhere. As your section grows and becomes larger, you have to rely more and more on staff. And, and going through the leadership journey, helped me to realize the importance of giving the staff the, the power they need and the ability to train them and then sit back and let them make, make decisions that once you thought you had to do. Well, it was really interesting, the timing of the leadership journey, because it sort of happened on the cusp of me becoming a manager from being a supervisor. So you learn um, certain skills and traits as a supervisor, but then you learn to think differently as a manager. So going through the training, it really helped me to make that shift. What I believe the leadership journey has provided for all of us is uh, bridging the gap between the desire and the ability to uh, positively affect your staff. And now, and I've actually done this, there, there have been situations, similar situations that have come up, and I've kind of taken a step back and been a little bit more objective approach to it. And instead of trying to fix the problem, I kind of coach the person or individuals to fix the problem themselves. Currently, pass on that learning knowledge to them. So it's actually been a lot better doing it that way. I think as a result of the Q9 survey portion of the leadership journey, I've noticed a difference with staff. Um, staff like to feel that their opinions are heard and that they have opportunities to give feedback. And I think that uh, really strengthened that relationship between myself and the staff. We want to make that time that we have together at least count for something. And it's not a finger pointing thing. It's more of a relationship uh, which in, in which we can build uh, trust. And, and uh, I think that's the, the leadership journey has definitely brought that through for myself. So really the leadership journey is about uh, learning about yourself and learning about the people around you. And I think uh, that I can see the success. So I feel good. I feel more satisfied in my career. Really to, to see, uh, thanks to the corporation, to the organization, Region of Peel, putting this on for us because it's a huge investment for not only for Peel, but for myself, uh, for personal growth and development. So big thanks.